Hey. So nice for you to show up. <laughs> what, what? Two o'clock. Vicky. Yeah, what? You, you, got your, you got your AC going though? <laughs> yes. You are? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, the guy came right on time, reliable. Yeah? Yep. And what? Showed up when he said he would come. Five hours later, it's done. Yeah, actually, an hour. it was done an hour ago. I mean, you know, yeah. he was cleaning up. He had a lot of stuff together. It's been 90s all week. And Vicky had House no was AC. 90. House was 90. House was 90. It was horrible. It was horrible, yeah. So finally got the AC back on. Yeah. yeah. Look at you. Did you just take a shower? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You feeling good? Yeah. He's uh, he's working very hard over there. I see him. I see him. What? What? You want to play? You want to play? You want to play? Now the question is, can you start it? Show me that this works. Well, it needs a glow stick to start, but it's not froze up or anything, guys. Yeah, but. And the controller turns on. There could be so many other wrong things with us. Yeah. What do you want for this thing? Well, let me look around. <laughs> look around. Let me look around. I know one thing I already got my eye on. I need to make the well to look this one up. You know, you know who you look like in those gloves? No, oh, I don't want to know. Um, Mickey let's Mouse? show that it's not no longer no, close. Uh, Breaking Bad. What's oh, his name? Oh, oh, oh. Making uh, Walter White, Jesse. Walter White, yeah. Yeah, that was a good shot. I'm no, not doing we, that back there. You should have bought those pills. <laughs> this guy offered. The guy came in and offered. He says, I got 60 pills. I'll share. What? I'll, I'll sell you 20 because he was. He hurt his knee. So he's got a strong pink pink oh yours from the doctor. He's like, Are you serious? I'm going to use them. You guys want them? And so I said, he wanted to buy the motorcycle clock. He wanted to trade you pills. And he said, You want to trade your pills? Because Adrian says, No, give me 20 bucks. He says, No, I'll give you pills. He says, No, I'll take the pills. Oh. How come you didn't make the deal? Huh? So, I don't know. You said no already. I don't want to be like pushy. You want to be a pusher? Pills. You can't That's sell pills crazy. here. You, know? no. you sell pills, pills here. They're gonna close the door. So as a as a reseller, this actually uh, kind of drives me nuts. So my fridge went out in my house last night, which is ridiculous because it's only one year old. All the appliances that I have in a house are one year old. Four months ago, my stove went out. Yesterday, last night, my fridge went out, LG. Uh, everything lights up, the fan is moving in there, but the compressor is not kicking out. But what drives me nuts today, I'm looking, because I was looking for a spare, kind of small to medium-sized fridge for my garage. So I want to get this fridge for temporary use in my house till they fix my fridge and nothing has been coming in lately to my shop. I got few big ones in the back. So today I'm kind of shopping on, on Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, Craigslist. Nobody's responding. There's zillion of them out there available. I must have sent, not kidding, 25 messages. It's 11 a.m. I've been messaging people since 8 a.m. Zero response from anybody. Actually, I'm sorry, one person did respond I asked, is it still available? They said, yes. I said, okay, you only have an hour from me. I can come out in about an hour. Zero response from them. I don't get it. As a reseller, that absolutely drives me nuts. I wonder what you guys think. Does it drive you nuts when you message somebody you want to buy something and there's zero response? Let me know in the comments. So finally, after like four hours, Somebody uh, finally responded to uh, one of my questions if they have a fridge for sale and I'm heading there right now I should be there like in 10-15 minutes um, They couldn't even tell me how old is the fridge All the ladies said well, we moved into this place two years ago it was already here It looks to me like it's at least 10 years old. They're asking 100 bucks. 
I should be there any minute. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right, I just drove away from their house. Um, I can't believe people do that. She listed the fridge saying great working order. All the shelves are inside clean, blah, blah, blah. So I get there. So I look at the sticker on the inside. The fridge is 19 years old. Okay. There's two shelves that are missing. One glass upper shelf is missing and one of those bottom containers is not there. Uh, and you know those areas on a door when you can put your milk on and you have that bracket that will hold the milk from falling out. That's all banged in. Uh, the light is flickering when you open the fridge. It's flick I'm like the seal on the bottom is like completely hanging and loose. I'm like, come on, you know, so I just walked out. I said, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be interested. Um, but when I was there, I get a message from another uh, guy who finally responded from OfferUp, which is not too far away, like 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes from here. So I'm going to go there. Um, now, he's saying that his fridge is 15 years old, uh, but it's in good working order. He keeps it in a garage. Um, so we'll see. I'm going to head there now. It's just so frustrating. Oh, this is just getting better and better. So I get to the second stop for the fridge. I message the guy that I'm here. I ring the doorbell. There's no answer. So I sat there for like three minutes. He finally responds to me. And he says, oh, I'm not going to be there for another hour. I'm like, seriously, dude? I send you a message that I'm coming I'm going I'm on my way I'll be there in 15 minutes and you responded okay and now you're telling me you're not gonna be there for another hour these people are crazy they're nuts so change of plans I talked to my wife I'm gonna go back to the shop um, I'm gonna grab a couple gift cards from Menards we always buy gift cards so for those of you who don't know what Menards is it's like Home Depot Lowe's it's it's kind of in the Midwest I think only uh, and they have always a big selection of appliances so I just looked online and they have a fridge that uh, that will fit our needs perfectly for like 350 bucks I'm just gonna take a couple gift cards and uh, basically buy the fridge for half price because I buy these gift cards you know for uh, for 50% when they come to my shop so you know might as well just do that and have a brand new fridge for you know 160 170 dollars and, and be done with it because this is this is ridiculous now I really understand why people uh, come and, and sell me stuff in my shop because they just don't want to deal with this they don't want to deal with selling to people and they don't want to be People don't want to deal with buying stuff, you know, from people homes when they, especially when they don't show up and stuff like that. So, anyway, anyway, gonna head to Menards and buy a brand new fridge. So here's the fridge that broke. Here's the new fridge. Happy, uh, happy wife, happy life. Is that how it goes? Not today, it's not. Not today, it's not. Well, we got a new fridge, honey, for the eventually for the garage. So true, true, because the ones that I saw today were totally disappointing. So this is disappointing, though. One year old LG, one year old, and it broke. So now is the time for nice cold beer. Um, watering my grass, I finally got my grass growing a little bit. I mean, it started growing about three weeks ago, but it's been uh, so hot, I gotta water almost every day. It's coming in nicely though. Still some patches, spots here and there, but it's coming in. All right, guys, I know today's vlog was a little bit different, my personal life, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, till next time, cheers.